may still become pregnant with the blocked fallopian tubes. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Dr. Naveena Singh, Fertility Specialist Practicing in Mumbai. So to answer this question, the answer is yes. So let's understand from the starting what these fallopian tubes are. To help you understand this topic better, I will take this model. Majority of their females are born with one uterus and two fallopian tubes on each side. Now these fallopian tubes, they carry the egg released from the ovary, carry the fertilized egg back to the uterus where they get implant to make a female pregnant. So ideally we should be born with two fallopian tubes, one on each side. Now in order to conceive naturally, we need to have functioning eggs which live in the ovary, functioning sperm and we need to ovulate regularly in our menstrual cycle. There are many conditions which can cause the obstruction of the fallopian tubes. Some percentage of females, they are born with only one fallopian tube or may be born with blocked fallopian tubes. There are conditions like infections and inflammation which can result in the blockage of the fallopian tube. Pelvic infection caused by chlamydia and inflammatory conditions like endometriosis results in the blockage of these tubes. There are certain obstructive conditions where the big fibroids, they press on these fallopian tubes and result in the blockage of the fallopian tubes. Now, how do we know that we have blocked fallopian tubes? Majority of the patient, they don't have any complaint or any symptoms when they have blocked fallopian tubes. A very small percentage of females may present in the clinic with severe pain and fever. Some percentage of females may have one side of pain and abnormal discharge, abnormal vaginal discharge during their menstrual cycle. Now, your fertility specialist might recommend you to do certain tests like HSG called hysterosalpingogram. Now, this is a non-invasive test. In this test, with the help of ultrasonography, we pass dye through your uterus and check the spillage of this dye across your both fallopian tubes. Now, what are the treatment options if you have one fallopian tube blocked or both the fallopian tube blocked? Your fertility specialist might recommend you to try for few more months or take help of IUI procedure which is called intrauterine insemination if you have one blocked fallopian tubes as there is still hope to get pregnant with one open and normal functioning fallopian tube but in cases where both the fallopian tubes are blocked you might take help of uh, assisted reproductive technologies like IVF and ICSI to conceive very easily and in the procedures of IVF and ICSI, there is no worry of blocked fallopian tubes. So yes, now females can easily get pregnant even if both the fallopian tubes are blocked. So this is the time where you should be relaxed, not to worry and take advantage of these technologies. So if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and we will keep updating you on more such informative topics and if you have any queries or any concerns do comment and we will get back to you as early as possible namaste